Hello friends, so I want to start by saying that Slide Colosseum is easy. Why do I say so? First, you can beat the dev time here with Drift. Second, you are not required to do 3 consecutive boosts at the beginning, before the first star cut. Third, the dev ghost gives you a lot of opportunity to overtake him. Particularly, the last two patches of grass that you can cut, he doesn't go over there. And then, for the very first star cut, he only takes the two tire cut for the first lap, and then for the second and third lap, he takes the single tire. So that means you can continue taking those and get ahead of him. A friendly reminder once again, as much as possible, do perfect boosts, please. Especially once you have Sacred Fire or Level 3 Fire or Blue Fire. Although here inside Colosseum, we don't have blue fire and sacred fire so we will only have to settle with the level 3 turbo fire so as much as possible keep it once you get it and there are a few errors here which i will also commit a mistake especially the third tire cut i think that's the third the third tire cut where i lose fire but it is not a reason to press restart immediately because you still have like what I said, a lot of opportunities to cut and to save time and to catch up with the ghost, okay? Okay, so for this guide, I will be using Drift. But once again, it is easier to beat the ghost here with speed. But if you are really used to using Drift, then be my guest. It's okay. We can beat him with Drift. Look what I'm gonna do here. Just two boosts and then I switch immediately just... And I even did just single good boost. This one here is quite crucial though. If you want to take the second, if you want to take the two tire cut, you will have to boost the moment before you jump. The moment before you jump here. And that's why I that's why I just <laughs> settled with good boost so I can properly position myself for a single perfect boost for the tire cut. Actually, it is fine even if you do a good boost here. Basically, as long as you do a good boost, it will allow your cart to jump higher than usual. So just time it properly before you jump. Then, there you go. You get to the 2 tar cut. Then move. Just do 2 here. Don't even need to do 3 here. We still don't have the level 3 boost as we speak. And then, another tar cut. Just go for... A single tire, okay? Single tire similar to how William did it, how the dev ghost did it. And then here, okay. Very far. fire. Yeah, I lost I lost I lost fire here, but it's okay. It's okay. Because we are already nearing to the area where we can get the level three turbo fire. Anyway, so I found out a little bit of trick here to minimize losing your fire. So you know how this wait. You know how this is curved, right? This particular ramp here is curved in such a way that <laughs> it's weird. So I found out that the best way to approach this is by facing to the left and when you are getting near it, just press left and then once you jump, immediately press right. Immediately reposition yourself. We'll take a look. We'll take a better look at this at lap two. Wait, uh, lap two, lap two, lap two. There we go. Two tire cut. So approaching it. Press left. Keep facing left. Keep facing left. And then the moment you go here, press right so that you don't go all the way to the two tire. If my theory is wrong, theory is wrong, feel free to correct me. I'm not sure if BX is going to watch this. That um, person expert here inside Colosseum from my community. So if ever I'm wrong, feel free to correct me. And if others, and if ever others who know the proper way to cut this, then just let me know in the comments, okay? I don't mind being corrected long as there's a better way to be consistent with this. So moving on, once you land here, boost, 
boost. <laughs> I did a good one there because I wanted to jump. I wanted to minimize or decrease the distance that I need to travel onto the grass. Like, so that, like what I said, you don't always, don't always need to do perfect boosts, but as much as possible, do them. Though there will be certain situations such as that, where you need to go over the grass quickly. So good will suffice. And then here, jump, you turn. So this is the part where you will have an opportunity to do the three consecutive turbo boost and to get the level three turbo power. As you can see, the size of our flame behind the heart changed. Whereas before, before, um, we only had a teeny weeny fire. And the moment we hit the third turbo boost, it increased. And that signifies that our speed increases as well. Okay, so these are the grasses that I'm referring to that William doesn't cut. <laughs> this one in particular. This one. As you can see, William, Dev Ghost went to the left, consum consuming more time, whereas we are going to travel straight here. And to minimize the slowdown, you have to continuously jump until Until you finally go over the grass. Until you are finally back to the main road. Just a reminder again. Um, here you can still continue boosting if you want to. If you want to do a third boost, it is fine. Then here, just do at least one. Especially before you jump onto the grass. So that you can skip more distance. Skip more grass. And of course, after the grass, you power slide again to make sure that your level 3 turbo fire doesn't disappear, okay? And then this is another grass that William doesn't cut. So in my video for 3 laps, I just continued power sliding here and turbo boosting. So that I can get enough reserves. As you can see here, I did 3 boosts. Then here, just do it normally like how I did it in first lap. Position myself properly, face to the right since the next turn is to the right. And then, properly position myself here again in preparation for the two tire cut. Face to the left, time your jump before, before the ramp. I did a good, that's fine. At least we'll be able to get to the two tire cut. Bam. And as you can see here, William only took single tire cut located here going to jump over here and that means more time for him to cover this area meanwhile we saved a few milliseconds there we're already going toe to toe with William here as we speak and then here jump again okay face to the left your power slide jump we're able to maintain the part going good so far here, jump, you turn. Three consecutive turbo boosts. One, two, three, one, two. Boost here again before the grass. Boost, boost. Or cut, whatever. Just make sure you are doing perfect, okay? You're doing perfect boost. So basically, that's it. Check my distance for million. We are really go. We are really, really starting to gain a lot of distance. Hold on, I noticed something. I noticed something around here. I think I think the dev ghost slows down around the tire cut here. This one. If you examine this ghost carefully, bro, it slows down, and therefore we are now farther than. You. Just as many boosts here, then before that patch of grass, before the next patch of grass, boost, then jump immediately. Okay, 
power side again. So that's it. Okay, so if it's still if you are still finding this track difficult, then you need to practice more. You probably haven't raced enough in this track, so use that time. You have a lot of time in the world, you have all the time in the world to keep practicing in Slide Coliseum. The dev times aren't going anywhere, and basically the key is to practice, practice, practice. If you're still having difficulty identifying what racing lines you should take, then watch how others do it. Watch how others defeat the ghost. You can use my video as a reference, or you can use other YouTubers' reference. So... Anyway, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments down below. Um, if you like my video, if this helped you defeat the ghost, then please do leave a like and comment as well. So that would inspire me to make more guides. And if you have any friends that are having a hard time here, then kindly recommend my video. So anyway, that will be it, guys. Um, I'll see you on my next stream or on my next guide. Much love. Bye-bye.